I'm flying! And this is a show with Zay Frank. I'm tired and I'm cranky. I'm not going to lie to you yet. Now I am. Recursion. I have 10 fingers, writes Zay. Talk about current events, please. I have 10 fingers. I tried, but every single event that I read about it already happened. Lame. Current events doesn't even mean what current events is supposed to mean. You know what we should do? We should put periods in it, like current period, events period. Then you can make it mean whatever you want it to mean. Like how Sony took the phrase make believe, which means one of the coolest aspects of human consciousness, and they put periods in it. And now it means make sure you buy Sony products and believe us, we're using advertising like this to try to recapture the glory days of the Walkman. If you don't know what a Walkman is, imagine an iPod that can only carry about 20 songs and every time you listen to a song the quality goes down just a little bit until one day it eats up and destroys all of your songs. Trust me at the time it was like magic. Or like how Syria took the word ceasefire and they put periods in it and now it means cease protesting or we'll fire on your ass. Anyways you want a current period events period? <coughs> That's one that just happened. You want another one? I'll give you another one. Every time I go out my door there's this giant freaking cat staring at me. Yeah and I'm like why is this giant freaking cat staring at me? And then I realize my landlord put pebbles everywhere. Over there, over there, over there. You know what pebbles look like to a cat that size? Kitty litter. And a cat poops like three times its body weight in an hour. So every day, I don't know if I'm going to walk out to a giant pile of cat poop. And you know what else? You know that tree, the tree next to the giant cat? I swear there's bees up there. And I'm afraid of bees. I know they're in some kind of worldwide decline and they're waiting for a government bailout, but that's not going to happen in an election year. Half of Congress is going to be like, it's all about the worker bees. Let's set up education programs to teach them about the flowers, maybe unionize them. And the other half would be like, no, it's all about incentivizing the queen bees. Without them, there'd be no worker bees. And forget about taking away their tax breaks. And let me tell you another thing. Honey comes out of a bee's butt. Don't tell me otherwise because I don't want to live in a world where nothing good comes out of a butt. Anyways, Iran is threatening to sue Google because it didn't put the words Persian Gulf on its map of the Persian Gulf. And then Google says there's a lot of bodies of water that we don't put names on, even though they put names on every tiny little body of water around the Persian Gulf. There is some controversy about the name Persian Gulf, and Google just chose to remove it. Clive Holes, an Oxford professor, summed it up by saying you kind of own something if it's called the way you want it called. Current, period, events, period. <laughs> Today I have a special treat for you. One of my favorite photographers in the whole world, Bill Wadman, is going to give us an assignment. Here it is. Okay, here's your assignment. Find someone you love, point a camera at them, say I love you, and then take a picture the moment they react. Don't cheat. Do what the man says. It's not about having a fancy camera. It's all about the moment. Upload your picture to the Bill Wadman mission on a show.zayfrank.com. Bill's going to choose one that catches his eye, and that person will win one of these. A signed poster. Remember, it's all about the moment. And now the brilliant animator Lee Hall will animate one of your dreams. So I had this dream where I kind of only remember bits of it. And at some point there was Lego raining from the sky and Lego men as well. And then it kind of skips forward and I'm feeling really ill. And I vomit all of this, this color. Bye-bye, it's the bye-bye song.